Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles. G Patrol. Follow us. Dummy World. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Steve. Wakey, wakey, JK. Another crash test week for our crash test dummies. Their mission to destroy the indestructible, to defeat the invincible, living the dream, and testing to destruction. Steve! Dan and Jake are the Crash Test <laughs> Morning dawns at the start of another gentle week in Dummy World. But in the house at Crash Test Corner, another week of mayhem is about to begin. <laughs> It's seven days of crash test carnage! But before all that... This! <laughs> Our crash test dummies always use safety equipment. And sometimes call in their stunt doubles for the really dangerous stuff. So if you feel like trying any of these stunts yourself, don't bother. Not only would you look stupid, you'd probably end up dead. Monday morning, and our dummies are sitting down to their favourite TV show. <laughs> oh, that's gotta work. Yeah. Hello there, and welcome to Crash Bang. Oh, that's got to hurt. Strange. He looks remarkably like you. Thanks. Not really a compliment. Oh, nasty. Steve, have you ever wondered why they don't put exterior airbags on cars? What do you mean? Well, instead of airbags being inside the car, I reckon if they put an airbag on the outside, it would prevent any damage in a crash. Especially if they use bubble wrap. You've just given me a wicked idea. Stick those two rolls of bubble wrap in the van. We're going to test it. Dan and Steve are going to see how much bubble wrap you'd have to wrap a car in to make it indestructible. But will they be laughing all the way to the bank, or will their airbrained idea crash and burn? First one, little white fella. They're wrapping two scrap cars in five layers of bubble wrap. It's like a massive toilet roll. This stuff was originally invented as trendy wallpaper, but the idea didn't stick. <laughs> so, will it fare any better as an exterior airbag? And how are they going to test it? Now you're probably thinking we're just going to smash each car into each other and see what happens, but that'd be too easy. Predictable. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to do? This is Crash Test Dummies. Come with me and meet the rude boys. Oh, my banana, Steve. These things are awesome. You said it, Dan. Awesome they is. Prepare to meet me old mate, Big Pete. Massive wheels. Yes, he's got a 7.4 litre Chevrolet V8 engine. And over here we've got my main man, the Grim Reaper. It's good to see you. Buongiorno. He's 12 feet high, 12 feet wide and about 18 foot long. Check him out. I think I'm in love. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Power. Right, Danny boy, on the count of three, let her rip. Okie dokie, rubber ducky, 10 4, over. Both monster trucks weigh over four tons. So, will the protective qualities of bubble wrap cushion the cars against this monster attack? No, of course not. This isn't proper science. This is dummy science. 
Back to the drawing board, lads. Right. You know what's happened here, don't you? Not quite enough laser bubble wrap. Yeah, I think that was probably the case, Steve. Definitely. And I'm pretty sure this won't be catching on. Mm, I don't know how you say that. A few more layers. I know what will cheer you up. What's that? A film and a massive bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Thelma and Louise. You know what I'm cooking. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, nice driving, by the Thanks, way. Thanks, I went backwards. Yes. <laughs> Laughing in the face of danger. <laughs> <laughs> if only. Crash test telly time, and Jake's settling down for a little bit of power tool nostalgia. I love a hundred greatest power tools in the world ever. At number 19, the Trench Rammer. The Trench Rammer. It's just great fun, isn't it? Everyone can have a go. I remember late 60s. Me and Dan had gone on our first package holiday. We were out there, we'd had a great time. <laughs> Bit of wind. The thing is, on the way back, we had more stuff than when we started. Straw donkeys. A gramophone. Sombreros. And a carburetor. We're trying to close the suitcase, wooden clothes. I had the bright idea, let's use the trench rammer. I think it came with the hotel. You got safety deposit box, twin room, and trench rammer. <laughs> but eventually it did work. And that's the story. Tuesday is wash day in Dummy World. And while Steve is busy making his favourite sandwich... Finishing touch. Upstairs, Dan is scrubbing up with some of his... Uh, Friends. Hello, Ratty. Hello, Daniel. How are you today? I'm not bad, a bit hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, the Ginger One's special shampoo has run out. He's not going to be very happy. Steve! Steve! What do you want? Steve! Have you been using my shampoo? The shampoo? No, but I was going to tell you about that. Right, first of all, you ain't got ginger hair, so your hair can't handle this. Second, it's not yours. And third, if you don't get me a new bottle, I'm not getting out of this bath ever again. Hang on a minute, Dan. You might not have to get out of that bath after all. <laughs> you just wait right there. Uncle steve has got himself an idea. Oh. I mean it. I'm not getting out of this bath. Unless there's a fire. Steve's going to find a way for Dan to get his ginger shampoo without getting out of the bath. What has he got in mind? Well, I you, I didn't want that. Well, that... All right. Steve, what are you doing down there? Can you stop messing about and go and get my shampoo? Oh, don't you worry about that now, Dan. If the mountain won't come to Mohammed. This is strange. How on earth, Steve, did you get the bath out of the bathroom, down the stairs and out the front door with me still in it? Just this once, Dan, I think it's probably best if we just forget about all that and just enjoy the fun. Anyway, how does this solve the problem of me getting my ginger shampoo? I'll show you, Dan. Just first, allow me to push you three feet into this direction and into a completely different location. Fair enough, I'm game. Ah, oh, this is the life. Do you know what? I've never realised just how green it is where we live. Don't worry about that right now. What we've done is transform our normal bath into an ultra-jet-powered bath. Yeah! If everything goes to plan, we'll get you all the way to the shampoo shop without even having to get out of your murky waters. It's not murky water. I haven't done anything in here. Maybe not yet, Dan, but give it time. I'm not that nervous. Yes, Steve has constructed a water jet powered bath. The water is going to hurtle through a Kadiva fire engine pump that he's attached to the bath. <laughs> Newton's third law of motion should result in the bath being propelled at speeds approaching 15 miles per hour. Is this proper science or crash test science? Only one way to find out. Anyway, how is it in there? Well, the water's still remarkably warm. Is it? No, it's absolutely freezing. Didn't think it was. Right, grab a hold of your loofah. I think you might need it. And hold on tight and stick this on. 
Get that on your head. In a bit. Time to see if 250 litres of water can really jet power a bath. Smoky water propels the bar forward with 80 kilos of thrust, giving Dad enough momentum to reach the shops. The bath went the distance using 250 litres of water, so Steve must have got something of his science right for once. There we go. But now Dan has a new problem. <laughs> See what? It's a good job I work out, otherwise this could look really embarrassing. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. And my other boys don't know how to act. Yeah. I think it's special what's behind your back. Yeah. Get your sexy huh? Oh dear. The shops run out of shampoo. But Gibney's used up all his bath water. That's the least of his problems. Have a nice walk, Dan! Coming up, everything that happens in the rest of the week. But first, Jake's been through his toolbox again. Which sexy model has he been photographing this week? Find out after the break.